Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over how you should program your report codes if you're doing a self-monitoring plan with Alarm Grid. So first of all, let's get into what a self-monitoring plan is. It is literally in the name. It's a self-monitoring plan, which means any signals from the alarm system are not being transmitted to a dispatch or central station, in other words. Right, so the self-monitoring plan only sends the signals to the uh, Total Connect or interactive platform that you have, whether that's Total Connect 2.0 or Alarm.com. The app then sends you emails or text message notifications when an alarm goes off. And again, this is only if you're being self-monitored. Now, you don't need to have the reporting codes enabled on your alarm system, whether you have a Vista or a wireless Honeywell, 2GIG, Quolsys, whatever kind of system it is. Um, you don't need to have the reporting codes enabled on this because if you do, um, then that means it's trying to signal out to a central station when on a self-monitoring plan it is not. Now, more often than not, alarm grid technicians will actually take care of that programming for you so that way you don't have to do it. But if you want to get a jump start and do it on your own, I'm going to show you guys a quick uh, little video on how to do that. Now, the method differs between if you're using a wired Vista system or a Honeywell Lynx or Lyric system. Um, it also differs if you're using an alarm.com system, which we can actually turn that off on our own. So you don't actually have to do that for if you're using Quolsys, 2GIG, um, DSC, Interlogix, anything like that. All right. So first thing we're going to go ahead and start off with is going to be our Vista system. So if you have a Vista system, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and head over to your keypad because we're going to need to enter into programming. Now, when you go into programming, there's two things that are, there's actually one main thing that I want you to pay attention for. So first thing you got to do is go to your system. You're going to need to know your installer code. Now, a lot of people get the installer code and the master code confused. The master code is what you use to arm and disarm the system whenever you leave or whenever you go to sleep at night. The installer code is what you use to go into programming. They're two complete different codes, so make sure you have the installer code. The default installer code for a Vista system or a Honeywell system is 4112. So to go into programming on a Honeywell Vista system, I'm going to enter in my installer code and then 800. So it's going to be 4112800. Now this is what I want you guys to pay attention to. If you enter in your correct installer code and 800 right after, you should see installer code 20. If you only, now if you see installer code 20 on the keypad, that is perfect. But if you, if your keypad only shows the number 20 on the screen, that means you have a fixed English keypad. And if you go any deeper into programming, thus you're basically going to be working blind. So if you get to this point, where you only see a 20 on the screen, hit star 99 to exit out of programming. We're gonna stop there if you have a 20, if you only have a 20 on the screen, and you're gonna have to buy an alphanumeric keypad, and then we'll come back to doing these steps. All right, so make sure your keypad says installer code 20. If your keypad says installer code 20, you're okay to proceed, and we'll then move on. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is get into the reporting codes for the individual zones themselves. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and go into star 56. That's going to give me that's going to bring me into deep level zone programming. Star 56. It's going to ask you if you want to set to confirm. Just hit 0. And now it's going to enter it's going to go to our enter zone number screen. So you only need to disable the report codes for the zones that are programmed. So if you only have zones one, two, three, if you only have one zone on your system, for instance, I'm, I'm only gonna have zone one. I'm gonna show you guys how to disable it. Um, you can enter in the zone number there. So if it's like zone three, you can enter in zero, three. If it's zone one, I'm gonna go back to zero, one. Whatever zone you want, this th that's the number of the zone. The zone number is gonna be right there in the bottom right corner. So once you hit the zone you want, you're going to hit star to proceed. It's going to bring you to a zone summary screen. Now, if you go to a zone and you see the zone type is set to 00, zero you do not need to disable the report code for that because if it's 00, zero, zero, that means that zone is disabled. 
So if you see a zero, zero under ZT, zone type, you do not need to change the report code for that. Right now, my zone number is set to one, my zone type is set to zero, and I actually already have my reporting code set to zero, zero. But here's what I'm gonna show you guys what to do now. So once you, after you get to your zone summary screen, you're just gonna hit star until you get to the report code screen. The report code screen is gonna look like this. So I'm gonna hit star to proceed. I'm gonna hit star to proceed, star again. And now this is my report code screen. It has my zone number in my top left. It has report code right after it. And then the second line is where you need to switch everything to zero, zero. So if you see something different here, let's say sometimes you'll see a one, zero, one, zero. If this is what you see on your, on your zone, make sure you switch this out and you enter zero, 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 zero. And after you confirm that both the first and the second have been set to zero, 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 you just hit star to proceed and just hit star until you get back to the zone number screen. Um, you don't need to program the alpha, so I'm gonna hit zero for that. And then now we're into enter zone number again, all right? Um, once you completed this, for every zone that you have, just hit zero, zero to quit. That's gonna take you out of the deep level zone programming. So I'm gonna hit zero, zero, and it's gonna take me back to my enter star or field number. So it's gonna take me back to my normal programming screen. Now that we're back at our main programming screen, we now have to disable some of the other, other reporting codes on some of the other features on the system. That's gonna be fields 59 through 76. All right, so 59 through 76, uh, really all you're gonna do is hit star 59, that's gonna take you to the field, and after that, you're basically just gonna keep hitting zero until you hear three beeps to confirm on everything, and I'm gonna show you guys in a second what that looks like, but once you get to 77, which is a daylight time and savings, you're just gonna stop there, and we're gonna exit from programming. So here's what it looks like, right? Again, I'm gonna start at star 59, so star five nine, and it's gonna say exit error report. It has a number there. I'm just gonna hit zero. It gives me the three beep confirmation and it automatically jumps to the next, to the next one. Again, I'm just gonna hit zero. And if you don't hear the three beeps, hit zero again. Those three beeps are confirmation that you're changing the setting in that field. Um, now bypass report code. Uh, sorry, that number in the bottom right is actually showing you the field number. So we did 59, we did 60, and now we're at 61. So we hit 00. zero. We now jump to 62. Again, you can just keep, keep hitting 00. zero. It'll jump to the next one. And we're going to do this all the way until we get to 77 and then stop. So again, 00. zero, zero. zero, zero. Some of them may require more than one or two zeros, so just keep hitting zero until you hear the three beep confirmation, okay? So again, now we're in 66, so we have about 10 more to do. As you see, this one took a lot more zeros. We're now at 72. And again, all I'm doing is I'm just pressing down the zero until I hear the three beeps. Now we're at 76, this is our last one. It jumps over to 77 and it brings us to our daylight start, our daylight and um, savings time, right? So right there, that's where we stop. That's where we're done with the reporting codes on the Vista system. Once you get to that field, just hit star 99 to exit programming. Make sure you only do star 99. If you do anything else, you may lock yourself out of programming. So it's star 99 to exit programming and you should be fine. So star 99. And we're back at the main screen. We're out of programming. And uh, that is how to disable the report codes on a Vista system. Now we're gonna jump over to our Lyric and Lynx systems. If you have a Lynx or Lyric system, 
the process is going to be a little bit easier because we don't actually have to go through the actual zone fields and you know you might not need the manual and all this and um, it's just everything is on a on a graphic user interface screen so it's a lot easier to deal with um, so the first thing we have to do is go into programming same way we did on our Honeywell sys on our Honeywell Vista series system we got to do the same thing on the Lyric system again default installer code for these systems is 4112 your code may have been changed by your or your company during the installation so make sure you guys are using the correct code again the, there's a big difference between a master code and an installer code all right so on the Lyric system to get to programming we're gonna hit security we're gonna go to tools and this is where you enter in the installer code minus four one one two if you are not taken to this screen then you are not using the correct installer code if you're taken to a user's um, advanced setup and different things like that you're probably using your master code so make sure you use the installer code that way you can get into programming once I'm on this screen I'm just gonna go into programming into programming <laughs> and the first thing we're gonna do same thing we did on the Vista system is disable the reporting codes for the actual zones themselves so I'm gonna go over to zones um, and uh, let's say I'm gonna go to my zone 3 and I'm gonna hit edit right so you highlight the zone you hit the edit button so right now you see it says alarm report in the bottom left you wanna sorry about that just a couple of faults on the Vista system uh, so what you're gonna wanna do on the Lyric system is if you see the alarm report it's set to yes you're gonna to wanna to hit that option and set it to no. And this is gonna be for every zone. If you're being self-monitored, again, this is for a self-monitoring plan only, do not do this if you're being monitored by a central station because if you turn off the reporting, that means if an alarm goes off on that door, it will not get sent to the uh, central station. So this is only for self-monitored people and uh, yeah. So alarm report, you set that to no and then obviously always hit save before you do anything and again you can do this for all of your zones you go to backdoor edit alarm report toggle it to no hit save and you do that for every single zone all right once you've gotten through all your zones depending on how many you have just hit the back arrow key one time and now we have to disable some of the panel features so we go to reporter we're gonna go to re I believe it's report selection yes so it's the report selection and all of these that show enabled we're just going to toggle them to disabled if you literally tap them they will go from enabled to disabled now there may be some grade ones that you cannot change if that is the case don't worry about it you can leave them as is but you want to try to set every single one that you can to disabled so there's only a couple of them that I couldn't change I'm going to hit the down arrow key there is a second page so make sure you disable those as well Again, some of them are grayed out, so I'm just gonna disable the ones that are not grayed out. And there we go. And then once you're done with everything, you hit save. All right, so as you saw, the Lyric system, same concept on the Link system. It's, they both have the same fields, so just do the same stuff. And um, you saw how much easier it was on the touchscreen systems. Now, on the Lyric system, we're going to hit the back arrow key all the way out. If you're doing this on a Lynx system, on an L5210, L7000, L5100, L5200, um, make sure that when you guys are backing out of programming, there's going to be a prompt that says, do you want to, do you want to allow the installer to re-enter programming? You always, always, always want to say yes to that. If you say no, getting back into programming is going to be a headache for you. So always say yes on that prompt. Now, after that, you've disabled the reporting codes on the link system. You've, if you have a Vista system, showed you how to do that as well. And uh, that was just a quick video on how to show you guys how to program report codes for a self-monitored plan. Now again, self-monitored plans means that there is no central station. Uh, you're only getting texts and messages from the app and then it's up to you to contact the authorities, right? Those are self-monitored plans. If you guys have any questions at all about the plans or about their reporting and programmings, feel free to email us at support at alarmgrid.
If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and enable the notifications so whenever we upload new videos, you guys get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.